Hey guys! Ever since I posted a updated version of my pen case on my Instagram, you guys loved it and asked if I would do an updated version of my what's in my pen case video. So here it is. It's my Kipling 100 pen case and I have recently updated what I keep inside. So I still do have my mini .88 Stabilo fine liners and I typically use these for my bullet journal only. I always use them um, to keep consistent with my color code. And I find that they write really, really smoothly. They, the tips are really delicate and will flatten eventually, but I find that I still use them a lot and I really do enjoy them. Um, next, I have these Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liners. These are my actual favorite um, writing utensils ever and I will definitely rebuy them as soon as all of them run out of ink but they are triangular shaped and so that makes it really easy to write with and I love that they write really smoothly and they come in many many different colors and I really love using them and next I have this Muji mechanical pencil it's um, actually a drafting pencil and it's coated in aluminum and so it's really cool because you can take the cap off the end to expose the eraser and it has a really, really fine needle point um, to write with and I find it's really comfortable to hold. I love the grip and it's been my favorite pencil for the past week or so and I really love using it. So in this next compartment, I have these Pilot Juice pens. They're the .38 versions, and I love that it has a spring-loaded clip on the end so I can gather papers really easily. Um, they write really smoothly. I tend to grab for these almost all the time because I know they won't smudge, they never bleed through paper, and there's never any ghosting on the other side either. So I always, always use these. The next, I have these Pilot Friction Pens. They are the .38 versions as well. And they're actually really fantastic because they erase completely. And I find I always grab for these whenever I know um, I might mess up or um, I might have to cross things out. So that way, instead of crossing out, I can just neatly erase and it saves me a lot of space on my paper. So the next things in my pen case are these three mechanical pencils. I have this one I got from like Target and it's okay. Um, then I got this Papermate Sharp Writer. This one twists instead of clicking and I find that's really cool. So I keep that one. Then I also have this .5 plastic Muji um, mechanical pencil and I like to use this one. I just prefer the aluminum one. And then beyond that, I also have this aluminum uh, 15 centimeter ruler I got from Muji. I love using this as a straight edge, especially if I have to make tables for labs and other things that require straight lines. Um, then I also have these two paper clips. I have a really large one and this cute little heart one. It's always really handy to have paper clips on you. Um, so I also have this one that says tomorrow. I usually gather papers that will be due the next day just to prioritize my life a little bit. And I also have this Muji correction tape. Um, I really like how this looks. It's really adorable and it fits really easily in the hand, but um, I'm not the best with whiteout. I'm trying to get better at using it, but as of now, I prefer to just cross things off. Then next I have Muji sticky notes. I use these in my bullet journal and you can see how I use them on my latest few Instagram pictures. I also have this uh, Mars plastic Stedler eraser. I find it's the best one I've ever used. So this is my second one actually. Um, then next I have some extra lead for my mechanical pencils. So the next pens I keep in here are these Muji double-ended highlighters. I love that the cap can fit into either end and these colors that I got are extremely bright. I love how they show up on paper and they're really, really useful. Then next I have these Pigma Micron fine liners and I have three sizes all in black. Um, I love how these write. The ink is really, really high quality and it's actually waterproof ink and it won't smear like ever. So I really appreciate how nice the ink is on these ones. And then after that, I have these Zebra Mild Liners and I love the colors of these and they're so like muted and I like using them to contrast with the Muji highlighters. So I usually use both in a color coding system. 
I like that these are also double-ended and I like that both produce a different line. And then last but not least, I have these double-sided markers I got from Muji. Um, both sides have the same size line and they both come in two different shades, so it's nice that they're very compact and I usually use them to make titles or headers for my notes or to underline certain information and I just really like having three of them and I have the other few that I keep in my desk. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll be posting new videos every Wednesday and definitely be sure to check out my 8tracks, Tumblr, and Instagram accounts because I post new content regularly in all three. Bye guys!